you master these, you come back to this video, I will almost promise you that you will never need to learn another retake again. The best high ground retakes made simple in one video, all timestamp down below. We're talking about the best retakes of 2023 and going into chapter four. I'm going to show you the retakes that are most important to me and the ones that I use in almost any given fight. There's around 20 of them and I have them all listed out. Like I said, timestamp from easiest medium to hard. Last time I did a video like this, it got around 9,000 likes. So let's see if we can get to 6,000 this time. Use code Kemi's in the shop. Also, if you buy any merch, you spend $50 or more, you get free shipping. FYI, link down below. This is Raiders straight, just free build map. The very first thing I'm going to do is show you my 1v1 start. You might be wondering, it still hasn't changed since the last time I do one stair, two 90s, and then I come off to the side like this. So in slow motion, we're going to do the 190, the two 90s, and then I'm going to go over. And then from here, I can ramp up. I can throw cones, but you gotta know that if I'm versing a really big sweat, a lot of times they like to cheat. And the way people cheat in their 1v1 starts is they come here with a floor first. They're running forward, they place a stair, and then they place a floor and a stair, and now they're one layer up, and they can do the exact same move. So I have two variations of this start. One is the cheating way, and the other one is the realistic way. So we're starting out with the easiest retakes first. This right here is my absolute bread and butter. It's just cone and high walls. And that is essentially the whole retake. As long as you walk on the far side of the stair, you could do this as many times as you want. A variation of that move is doing the same exact thing, but instead of doing it with a cone, you just do it with a stair above your head. Boom. So once you do this, you could do the same thing and you can piece control out the right or left side. And like I said, I love to do this from both sides. This is going to get more complicated later on in the video. Next up, this is probably like my most used move. I come here, cone above me, stair, floor, stair, and boom. So fast motion, stair for stair, edit. And then you go from the other side, stair, floor, stair, edit. Two variations of this move. So you could do cone, stair, floor, stair, you edit. And then what I like to do a lot of the times is I place a wall, a cone up top, and then I'll run up to the top of this. I'll flip the stair and then high wall up. So in fast motion, we're going to do cone, stair, floor, stair. We're going to place the wall, cone. We're going to flip it and then high wall up. And then we edit through and now we are good to go. The second variation of that move is stair, floor, stair. And then what I like to do is I place walls here. And then I'll just jump out to the side with high walls. So cone, stair, floor, stair, walls. And then I just go up with high walls and a stair. This part is semi-complicated, especially if you're a beginner beginner, but you definitely need to practice this. So what I'm doing is I'm placing a wall and then a stair. So wall, stair. And then as I do that, I jump up and then I finish with that. So here we go. I'm going to edit. And then the second I do that, I'm going to jump out wall stair and then high walls and then stair. The infinite cone 90. Once I learned this, my retakes got so much more simple to do. It is not even funny. So I'm just going to come here. I'm going to edit this and place two walls and a cone. So again, edit two walls and a cone. So I'm just casually ramping up. Boom. I'm going to place a cone. I'm going to edit this, place a wall right away and then a cone. Now I'm going to flip. I'm going to take this edit, place a cone and then do it again. That is the move. Like it's just a foolproof way to take height and block your head. So when you get really comfortable with this move, you're going to want to do it in any direction. So for example, I'm not going to flip it into a stair edit like this. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and then I'm going to flip it into a stair edit going the other way. So I can control the direction that I want to go into when I'm going up for high ground. So in fast motion, that one's going to look like this. Oh. This is called the Clicks 90s and it pretty much got popular when Clicks started playing Zone Wars against other pros. Long story short, all it is is I just place a stair in front of me, make sure I'm not on it yet. As you can see, I just do floor stair and then you jump up to the other side, floor stair. And then from here, you just constantly rep it out. So you can just go up and up as much as you like. If you want to change it up a little bit, what you're going to do is you're going to place two stairs and then you're going to jump on the opposite one. So two stairs, jump on the opposite one like this. I'm going to be honest, it is a little easier going to the left like this, but you can really do whatever you want or however you like it. So coming out of almost any move that I taught you so far, we're going to start with this one, hypothetically. If there's someone all the way above me, what I'm going to do is do the little move that Jiven taught me. It's like the reverse protected 90s. So I whip out any high ground retake. I know the guys on my back. I'm going to come out. I'm going to do a 90 like that. I'm just going to edit through and I'm going to place floor stair and look back and then jump on a floor stair. From here, I just go down with it, and then I go up, and now I'm practically on height. So take a look, here's the move, right? And then the back wall first looks like this from up here. So you can see the angles blocked, and by the time I'm ramping up even more, this guy down here is gonna be on height doing another 90. I can rep out a clicks 90, and now I have the height. So literally, this is the best thing to know. At any point in time during a retake, you should just be able to stop and do a mongrel classic. This is a mongrel classic in case you don't know. So you just edit the wall, edit the stair, and then you have full piece, you can go for a shot. Or even when I do a 180, I turn around like that, and then I could just Mongrel Classic that. The 180 move is also really good. And anytime I do this, I make sure that I don't jump 
and then jump again. What I'm doing is I'm doing one jump. So in slow-mo, I'm gonna turn around before I jump and then I jump, throw this stair out, then place the wall. And now I can Mongo Classic like that. So next retake is just gonna be like, so I'm gonna have a double ramp right in front of me and then I'm gonna place a stair and then cone forward and back. I'm gonna flip this stair. And then what I usually like to do is I high wall this and then I edit out a side. So again, in fast motion, I'm gonna be cone placing forward back, cone flipping high walling, and then I'm just gonna run through like this. So this next one, back in the day when I made a TikTok about it, Booga actually, I went to a stream and he said that he really thought this move was useful and he does it all the time and it was a good tip. Try turning off B. What, what is that? I mean, it makes sense, but D's, dude. Like, bro, what? Mods, can we ban him? Please, bro. Like, what? Come on, bro. Dude, I mean, how did I fall for it, bro? Because, like, why would I expect 10 beans to fool these nuts me? Like in the TikTok video or in my YouTube video, I said that anyone should be able to do this right here, where you throw stairs out ahead of you as you're tarping in one direction. If you want to make it simple, it's just wall, stairs. And then I do a stair, wall, stairs, and then boom. So you can turbo build the stairs all the way up until you get to here. And once I get to here, I let go of all my binds and I just place a wall and now I'm turbo building again, right? Turbo building. This is how you're gonna practice it. You're gonna come here, stairs. You're gonna throw more stairs. You're gonna jump on that. Telling you right now, that one is good. It's Booga recommended. So the walking left and right high walls and stairs method. So you're cranking up for height, boom, you get coned out of nowhere. No worries. What you're gonna do is you're gonna high wall up and then place stairs up and down. Then from here, once you get one started, you could just do walls and stairs again. Walls and stairs again. And you constantly rep that out. And you can go to this as many times as you damn well please. Now, if you don't have double movement turned on, it's right here. It's called keyboard movement. Turn it on. If you're on keyboard, I'm going to put the numbers up right here that jive in settings are because you got to remember that I use a joystick instead of a keyboard with just plain old mouse. So you'll notice that I can do this from literally either side as I please. Sometimes I get the stare out. So in slow motion, I'm doing this. And then I'm staring out and then I'm placing the wall less. This is the last retake that I seldomly use. It's really not one of my go-tos. But if I have a stare in front of me, I'm going to do cones forward back. And now as I'm going to jump, I'm going to jump high wall and I'm also going to place a stare. So in fast motion again, no double ramp, just place a cone, cone back. And I'm going to high wall up and I can do a cone 90 from here, right? And I can be on height that way. It's definitely not one of the best retakes in the game, but usually when I do it, I get this piece control right here. Almost every time I use this retake, I'm looking to just block and get piece control here. We're now on to the medium high ground retake. I recorded the whole video and I forgot the most important one. This retake, I completely learned all thanks to Slight. You come here and the second I get above a stair, I turn around. Right? I do a cone and then I land on a floor and stair like by walking on it. And then I just cone flip and now I'm on height. So in fast motion, it looks like that. And you can just go crazy after that. Once again, shout out to my boy Slight. Looks really cool. And I actually like this retake. I think it's practical. This is a move that you have to know if you're ever box fighting someone in a rush. So you'll see what I mean. Sometimes you're just out and about and there's a cone above and below you. Now, instead of editing this into a stair and then editing this cone, what I'm going to do is when I want to grab the height, I'm going to high wall up all the way from back in the box. I'm going to make sure I'm center on this cone when I hit the jump button. I'm gonna edit and then place a stair to finish. So let's just say hypothetically that I'm cone tarping, just like this, making it simple. Out of nowhere, I high wall up and I, now I wanna go up a layer. See how easy that is? Small tip of advice whenever you're doing this move, whenever you're too early, you're gonna miss the high wall and the edit and you're not gonna make it to the floor over here. And if you're too late, then you're gonna do the same thing. So what you do is when you edit this, Sometimes I place a floor. You see how I just like kind of nudges me up here? And that's exactly what I want to happen. So here we go again. I place the floor and then I can edit the wall and I can go through and continue. When you do it quick enough, sometimes it doesn't even look like a mistake. As you can see, it just naturally looks good there. This next move, I like to call it the skirt move. Now, hear me out for just one second. Anytime I'm ramping up like this, I got a stair above my head. I need a skirt out of this box. So boom like that and i continue it going in another direction so you can do this from either side like that slow-mo how it works right is i'm going to hold my wall out this entire time and i'm not just going to look like this i'm going to be moving wall turning like that while i'm in the air all at the same time so here we go i'm going to turn and then just land on a stair like that from here i just instantly look up and place these three builds now if you place a cone here it means you won't get shot at all but sometimes it just happens so quick that there this angle in the back it's not even exposed so i'm doing my retake and then out of nowhere i'm like oh crap i gotta go to the right so i'm gonna turn and then do this move 
Now I can flip and I can have height and I can do more stuff. Now this move I learned from a pro player called Arkram. When I saw this, I was completely shook. He was build fighting height with no mats and there was a cone in front of him. So what he did to keep his momentum going forward during this whole thing was he high walls and places a stair and then he edits through and lands on this stick. So now he continued going forward. He bypassed the enemy's cone and now he's on height and ready to keep the pressure. Remember the tip I talked about where if you land short, just place a floor here and a stair and you can continue going up and like no problem. Okay, so what's a retake video without some high wall side jumps in it? There's three different variations that I like to use high wall side jumps. If you don't know what they are, I'm going to show you real quick. But every single one of these is used when I have a certain amount of mats. So I'll start with the ones where I have low mats. So let's just say there's an enemy. He comes and he places a cone. Boom, right here. Now he's on height. And I, I'm down here. So what I'm going to do to conserve mats, I'm going to high wall side jump and I'm going to land on a floor. Now I'm going to place a stair and now I can go for a double edit here. I can go for a full box out this side. This first variation though, you could start by placing the wall before you jump like that. I land on a floor, then I jump again and I land on a stair. The next one is a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to wrap around with four walls and then I'm going to do the same exact move where I jump again, land on a stair. But this gives me way more protection. This time I'm going to do it from the other side like this. You can see sometimes I even get this wall. It's really like kind of five. The way you want to do this is always place this wall first on either side when you're starting this. So I'm going to jump and I'm going to land on up and over like that and then land on this floor and I can go like that. You could do that same exact side jump, but you can sprint into it like that. So when you sprint into a move like this, it's actually a little bit easier because then I can land on a stair instead of having to jump twice. So you're going to see I'm going to run. I'm going to sprint and I can just go up. Now, depending on what you're doing, sometimes you want to turn completely around. So I'll be coming here and I'll jump the other way and I'll just go like that. So I can just go in literally any direction I damn well please. This is the phase sway retake. There's a couple of these. I learned this so long ago, but it was one of the best things that helped me get better at building. I triple edit like this, right? I'm going to come through and then I'm just going to high wall and then stairs again. Now, I talked about this earlier, but I didn't include the triple edit in it. But this move will literally be able to get so advanced. So, for example, when I do this move, I'm going to high wall. And then sometimes I'm going to insta jump to the other side and do another triple edit. So just imagine I'm coming here. I'm triple editing. I'm going to jump out the side and then I'm going to come here and triple edit this way. Then I'm going to Mago Classic and then just tarp down. Keep in mind, when I do this move, you can do it like doing it this way like that. Or what you can do is you can come here and you can do all the walls and then land on a stair. There's two different ways of doing that. This retake is something that I need to know just in case I can turn one of my mistakes into something that actually looks good, right? So I'm coming here and I'm just going to go like that and I'm going to land underneath the stair. So in slow motion, it's just going to be one high wall is all you need. Then I'm going to come out, land on this and just place a stair under me because there's times where I do a side jump and I land underneath. Now, when I do it, I'm just going to edit through and make it look like it's part of the retake. Boom, 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 land under and then triple edit out the side. Go crazy. I'm going to start us out with the harder category. There's really only three of these. It's really nothing insane, insane because I want these moves to actually be practical at the same time. Hard retakes just really don't even work that well in real games. They just burn you so much mats for no reason. The ones that I've learned that I liked go like this. So first one cone. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the walls out and then drag them. Oh, of so I'm going to drag the walls out stair and then I'm going to come up here. Cone high wall. And then I can full box someone here usually. So you can continue going up with the retake, but a lot of times you'll be able to get a full box like right here and I can go for a shot. Now I will say in fast motion that you always want to try and edit the four tiles because sometimes what happens is, is when you come here and you only have one wall. And then if I edit it down like this, now I have nothing to connect to. So if you want the wall to stay there, you have to edit this. And then you can go with a full box. That move is a little more difficult than it might seem. This one is definitely one of the more difficult ones. So hypothetically, right, I'm coming here. I'm going to start out and I'm triple editing. Now, sometimes after this, you end up accidentally placing a cone. I know we've all done this before. I high wall up, do the arc room thing. I come like this with a stair. Now I'm going to jump out this side. Now, when I get here, I'm going to place a wall. I'm going to triple edit again. Notice how I do a single cone edit, because if I open up this, then they can see me in the back. So I'm going to open up this. I'm going to edit this and I can just rep out, you know, one of these again. So now I'm going to try and pair the whole thing together. So I'm going to come here, triple edit. I'm going to place a cone by accident. I'm going to high wall up. Doesn't matter. And I can just continue. See, how I just continued it. I mean, might as well try it one more time. It's a little bit more difficult. I know. So we're going to come here and I could just boom, 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 boom. I get here. No problem. Jump up. 
no troll that is by far all the retakes that i used and probably will ever use on fortnite you master these you come back to this video i will almost promise you that you will never need to learn another retake again just remember every single retake that i talked about in this video especially ones where you come like this there's so many different variations to doing all the retakes like the, the retakes that i showed you can do them a bunch of different ways all the things i showed you i do use in game enjoy chapter four everybody don't forget the merch link down below see you in the next video peace